I did to Brooklyn. I leave my pastor home with my husband. And then at the same time, when I did uh, um, Florida, talking to my husband one night, then my husband attacked to me and he said to me, say, Pastor is coming. So me say, why the reason? He had to tell me, say, Pastor is coming. I know I have to get off the phone. Me say, but me is your wife. So why you can't talk to me meanwhile, Pastor coming? At the same time, I didn't know that Pastor have mine with my husband. And then these things is going on and then me find, I give my pastor, the only thing that I don't do to my pastor, I be my pastor. I do everything. And at the same time, when I do everything for my pastor, my pastor didn't love me. So I say, God, what is this? And she stayed in my house for four strictly long years. And just lately, in a year of four last, I'm going to America. And then me call my pastor. She blessed me. She said she had blessed me. She blessed Alibi. And she had given me Fikiaru with me. And then when she said she blessed the Alibi, it come like the Alibi are cursed. <laughs> because. When I reached America, hmm, she wouldn't went to the airport with me. She go different way with another past. And then when she I go in the car with the other pastor, then like she criticized me. And then she has say, you know that June is going to America and she's not going to make it. She's going to sink and she's going to mud. And then the other pastor, I mash it up and say, the blood of Jesus. Oh, the blood of Jesus. So when we reach to America, then the other pastor called me and I tell me everything. So say, I said, when I come back, I will never go back to that church. I never go back. And then afterward, when I reached America, I was so, so sick and helpless and ready to die. I don't have no job. I was so, so sick. My, I bring every pressure pill. Every sugar medication I feel medication them and bring it to me bring it over there with me and when I go there I was so sick I'm taking the medication them and then it is no help the pressure going up, 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 up and everything is killing me and when I take sick and I go to the hospital my neck was like this and it twists like this, and it couldn't move. I spent one day, and one night, a hospital in America. And then I get treatment, and then me come back home, and then me leave from America, and me go to Florida, and then when I come back, I decided my mind said I wouldn't go back to the church. And when I come back home, then my husband I said to me, he said, June, you know that when you was in Florida, Pastor left in bed. Come in after your bed. <laughs> Wish part me there. Hug me up. A rub foot bottom for me to go live with her. But me lay down in the bed and then me I say, Jesus, how can I put myself with my pastor who preaching to me? And then 
He said to me, he said, June, if I did go put myself with my pastor, I would have get her pregnant. I said, what? <laughs> what you say? I tell, me I tell you no what I say, no, because God know what I say. I say, I would have killed the two of you. <laughs> because I don't know which house you've been at the And that the pastor that could have never been, I would have fling him right out of my house and broke the neck and kill him. I <laughs> said, then I dismiss me to go past that, put in half of my house, call him with my husband and turn around, he hit me half. And then at the same time, I was have up put my husband and I was have up my pastor in me. So when I go to America and when she said the pastor Lee said to me, say let go, that was the two person that I was have carrying inside of me. So I thank God when I go to America, I get my deliverance. And I get my deliverance that day. And then she said, Oh, you deliver. You leave Jamaica, Africa, to get your deliverance. I give God thanks that Sunday. But when I come back, I come back safe and sound with Jesus. And by the time I reach back the yard again, 1,099 prostitute, Satan, devil, everything take me. And then it come like I was getting myself again, going down frustrated in my house. And Saturday morning, in I before the I lay down and I hear the voice said to me, said, you are not doing what I said you must do. Okay, watch and you will see. So I was looking for something that God was going to do for me today because I get the warning in my bed. And what's to ever things that God has done for me today? I give God thanks. I give the glory. I give the honor. Name of Jesus. Oh God, I give you thanks. And I thank you, Lord, for all what you have done to me. When I believe and I think, say, I was a Christian, I was none. And if I did, my soul did not, my feet was just as the spring, the edge to go to hell. But I give God thanks. He rose me out of hell gate and he put me back on shore. And I give God the glory and I give him the thanks this morning. And I say, thank you, Jesus. You arise me again. And you have me hold. And I say, Jesus, this is your time. And I make up my mind to go the miles of the way with you. So I give you thanks, Jesus. Thank you for all what you have done. I know that something was going to be good today in my way. Thank you, Jesus. Glory to God. Powerful testimony, amen? Come on, man, put your hands together for a testimony. The Bible said we are overcome by what? Testimony and by the blood of the Lamb. Put your hands together for yourself one more time. Bless the name of Jesus. Glory to God. At this time, we're about to turn over to our prophet. I'm going to ask everyone, please, to stand. Bless the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. I want everyone to stand. Glory to God. Hallelujah. Jesus. Glory to God. Bless the name of the Lord. I'm going to sing this song. I'm not really familiar with all the words. Until our prophet comes. Amen. Amen. I'm living close to Jesus. And glory having. Oh glory, oh glory. We walk and talk to 
together as other neighbors do. We have such sweet communion, our fellowship is true. I'm glad I live beside you. hallelujah hallelujah what a friend we have in Jesus glory to God all our grief thank you Jesus what a privilege everything to God in prayer bless the name of the Lord lift up your hands our bishop is about to come at this time glory to, to God hallelujah thank you Jesus Your hands together for you. Mm -hmm. 
Thank you, sir. Praise God. Worship the Lord, everybody. Come on, lift your hand and worship the living God. Lift your hand and worship the living God. Lift your hand and worship the living God. Somebody praise the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Lift your voice and worship. Worship. Jesus. Praise God. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Be seated. I want to lift up Jesus. Amen. And I'm excited to be in the house of God. And I'm excited that you are here. Clap yourselves. I thought everybody would get afraid. That the place is going to get dark and healy and I'm going to come so they're going to hide. But no, we're in church. Amen. There's many parts, other parts of the world right now. They're excited, experiencing eclipse. We're having bright sunlight. Amen. We don't expect any darkness. Come on, just worship God. All kinds of uncertainty, all kinds of things are happening in the atmosphere. But we are alive and well in this moment to praise God. We don't know what's coming. We don't know what's happening. We don't know what's going to happen. But we know a lot is going to happen. But one thing we know, I don't want nobody coming here folding hands, waiting, looking for no doctor, no reader man, no hobby man. You got to just worship the Lord. You got to just worship the Lord. Hallelujah. Praise God. God is good. Just to let you know, we have a prayer breakfast is happening on Saturday morning. What time? 7.30, right here. The men's ministry is going to be awesome. Great speaker, great music, great food. And the tickets are available. Check out the members. And we love your support. We love your strength in this venture. We got to continue to do what we do to continue the great work that God has given us to do. Amen? Amen. What a God. Somebody say, what a God. Lift your hand and say, what a God. Great testimony, awesome feelings in the presence of the living God. I feel a worship. I said, I feel a worship. Lift up Jesus. Time is spent or else I would have I would, I would just worshipped. No missionary reverend has led you into great worship already. Amen. You got your water? You got your salt? You got olive oil? You don't have any? Water, salt, oil, water, oil, any two? All right, get some water and some oil, please. Everybody get, get a bottle of water, put some oil in it. And let's do some deliverance today. Let's deliver some people. Everybody, everybody, go get, go get, go get, get. I hear this song. Bow down and worship. Shepherd, worship, oh, worship him. Why, hi, hi, hi. Bow down and worship the king. Oh, worship him. Oh, worship him. Oh, worship him. Bow down, 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 down. Bow down and worship him. Worship him. Worship him. Oh, worship him. Oh, worship him. Consuming fire. Consuming fire. Let the sweet perfume. Oh, let your Presence feel this room. This is all we got. Oh, this is all we got. This is all we got. Come on, pour it in there. Give your faith. Worship 
worship him. Bow down and 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 worship him. Oh, worship him. Somebody ought to say, yeah, yeah. Bow down and worship him. Worship him. Worship him. Father, we worship you. Oh, worship him. Hi, 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 hi. Bow down and worship the king. Oh, worship him. Hi, hi, Consuming fire, consuming fire, and the sweet perfume. Oh, that your presence fills this room. This is all. You declare. You declare. Somebody glorify Hallelujah. Him. I put you in front. Jesus. In front of my melody. melody. Huh. You are all that matters. You are all that matters. I'll make room for two. Yeah. You, you are not Jesus. Jesus. And you are all that matters. And you are all that matters. Oh, well. You are all that matters. Oh, well. Oh, well. And you are all that matters. Oh, well. Oh, well. Worshiping. I'm not entertaining. I don't want to entertain you. I want you to worship. I said I want you to worship. Yes. I want you to worship. Yes. I want you to lift up Jesus here. Hallelujah. Worship the Lord. We give you glory. We celebrate your goodness. We give you all the praise. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Praise God, somebody. Amen, 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 amen. Praise God. Father, we exalt your name. We lift you up in this moment. Precious Jesus, we invoke your holy presence. You're all I want. Oh God. You're all I need. It. Hallelujah. Come on, somebody, somebody help me. Help me know you. 
journey Lift your hands You're all I want Jesus Lift your prayer You're all I ever need I wish the people that just worship You say You're all I Everybody raise your voice and say, You're all I want. Can I get a witness? You say, You're all I ever need. I need 50 worshipers. Say, You're all I want. Help me know. Help me know. I see you one more time. Raise your voice and say, say, you're all I want. Do you want it today? Let me hear you say, you're all I ever need. Can I hear you say, Some spectators, lift your voice and say, you're all I want. Satan, you lose again. Say, you're all I Make a joyful noise in the middle. Help me know you, honey. Help me know, help me know. Help me know you, honey. Clap your hands for Jesus. Clap your hands and give God praise. I want you to lift that bottle in your hand with that oil, mix them, put them all together. Let's induce labor. Let's get in the labor room. I want you to lift your faith. Somebody told me, Mark Stewart, don't ever even worry about what people think or say because I've known so many people, high and low, who have benefited from your anointing, who have received deliverance and breakthrough. You would be shocked to know many of them would not come out and speak about it. If you ever know who they are, who believe in you and believe in what you do, they, ain't, they just not coming near you in high places so I know what I'm doing is working and I want you to lift your faith in here because it's going to work for you today I don't come here trying to impress you with no prophecy whatever sickness whatever curse whatever disease with even a malta in your hand sister I know anything your faith believes right now in this room a miracle is in it I just want you to name it and claim it I'm going to come up against every diabolical sickness every diabolical disease every diabolical attack every spiritual warfare you're going through right now it's going to cut and clear and you're not saying anything huh? I don't know you're not excited today maybe uh, God Almighty, somebody give God a praise here. Somebody worship the Lord here. 
Worship the Lord in here. Lift them, Father, in the name of Jesus. I stand as an oracle. I stand as a mouthpiece. I stand as a voice. There are some people in this room sick and helpless. There's some people in this room who want a breakthrough of healing. There's some people in this room who has pain and suffering and want to be delivered as they raise the anointed thing in their hands right now. I am declaring miracle signs and wonders. I pray that as their faith lifts, then a breakthrough will ensue. This atmosphere, that fire will begin to move right now. Deliverance. Somebody will begin to receive a master breakthrough like never before as they anoint, as they drink from the fountain. Lord God, it will spring up into the miraculous right now lord release lord deliver lord set free bring about a change in somebody's life right now as they lift the consecrated things as they engage it by faith let a miracle raw powerful healing and deliverance take place in this place today in Jesus name in Jesus name lift your hand and say Lord this in my hand I believe that it can work miracle with one touch from angels in heaven today I raise my hand with the anointed thing and I believe you now, God, to work a miracle in my life in the next half an hour. Let there be fire, breakthrough, healing, deliverance all over me in Jesus' name. Go ahead, pull that bottle, take a drink. Wash your hand, wet your head. Right now, consecrate yourself. We're going in deep. You are all that matters. You're all that matters. Away, away. You're all that matters. Away. Come on, believe God right now as you consecrate. Come on, use it here in a public space. Come on. It's not an hide and seek. Believe God, because somebody's feeling the fire already. Somebody's feeling the fire already. And you are. You're Every belly problem. Every head problem. Every chest problem, every pain, I command it to be released. Somebody shout a hallelujah here. Praise in him. Praise the name of Jesus. Amen. Be seated. Keep your anointing. Don't talk to nobody. Don't shut around. The book of 1 Kings chapter 19. 1 Kings chapter 19. I won't be long. I'm going to pray for you. Now Ahab told Jezebel everything Elijah has done and had he killed, how he had killed all the prophets with the sword. Jezebel sent a message to Elijah, says, may, gods, may the gods deal with me, be it ever so severe, if by this time tomorrow I do not make your life like that of one of them. 
Elijah was afraid and ran for his life. When he came to Bathsheba in Judea, he left his servant there while he himself went a day's journey into the wilderness. He came to a broom bush, sat under it, and prayed that he might die. I have had enough, Lord, he said. Take my life. I am no better than my ancestors. Then he lay down under the bush, fell asleep, wanted to die. Somebody lift you and say, I shall not die. All at once, an angel touched him and said, get up and eat. He looked around and there by his head was some bread baked over hot coal and jars of water. He ate and drank and then lay down again. Angel of the Lord came back a second time and touched him and said, Get up and eat for the journey is too much for you. So he got up, eat and drank. Straightened, strengthened by the food, he traveled 40 days and 40 nights until he reached Oreb, the mountain of God. There he went into a cave and spent the night. At the word of the Lord came to him, What are you doing here, Elijah? He replied, I have been very zealous for the Lord God Almighty. The Israelites has rejected your covenant, tore down your altar, put your prophet to death with the sword, and I am the only one left, and now they are trying to kill me too. The Lord said, Go out and stand on the mountain in the presence of the Lord, for the Lord is about to pass by. Then a great and powerful wind tore the mountain apart and shattered the rock before the Lord. But the Lord was not in the wind. After the wind there was an earthquake, but the Lord was not in the earthquake. After the earthquake came fire, but the Lord was not in the fire. And after the fire came gentle whisper. But when Elijah heard it, he pulled his cloak over his face and went out and stood at the mountain of the cave. And the voice said to him, What are you doing here, Elijah? He replied, I have been very zealous for the Lord. God Almighty, the Israelite, have rejected your covenant, tore down your altar, put your prophet to death with the sword. I am the only one left, and now they want to kill me. The Lord said to him, go back uh, the way you came and go to the desert of Damascus. When you, when you get there, anoint Aziel to, kill, to king over Aram, anoint Jehu, son of Nel, to, over the Israel, and anoint Elisha, son of Shaphat, from Abel Mohala, to succeed you as prophet. Jehu will put to death any who escaped the sword of Aziel. Elijah will put to death any who escaped the sword of Jehu. Yet I reserve 7,000 in Israel, all whose knees have not bowed down to Baal, whose mouth have not kissed her. Somebody praise God. Somebody praise the name of Jesus. Somebody praise God. I want to... Jesus, what a word. Hallelujah. I want to say to about, let me see, how much people in here? I think of everybody. Because when you prophesy some things, those who believe and some people don't. Right now, at this very moment, what time is it? To two o'clock, the one, eclipses are happening. Across America and Canada as we speak the atmosphere is changing we're not seeing it directly but indirectly is happening now but you're at the right place many people are all over out in parks and feet in America looking jumping shouting and viewing I want to say to somebody on the eighth day of the fourth month of 2024, your days of hiding is over. Come out of your cave. <laughs> I don't know who wants you to hide. And go back where you're coming from. But I'm here to tell somebody today. Your days of hiding. I'm speaking to the wrong church. I'm going to save the message for tomorrow. Because Mandeville don't want it. Lift your hand and say I'm coming out. 
Shanda da Basaya Mate Kose da Basande Katuria Rapande Sataya Maha. Somebody praise God here. Sit down. Yeah, let me flesh it. Your days of hiding. And if you're a neighbor, who are you hiding from? So now Elijah, Elijah just killed 850 prophets, called down fire from heaven, and fire came down, burned up everything, and the people bowed down and said, the Lord is God. He called forth the rain, and the rain started to fall, and he ran ahead of Ahab to Jezreel, and, and he got into town, and uh, Ahab went and told Jezebel that there is a prophet who just kill off your Baal worshiper. Put them to the sword and shame them with the power of God. God, God Almighty. Somebody praise God here. Lithian and say, neighbor, I don't know about you, but I got power to shame some Jezebel. Trouble me again. Somebody <laughs> praise God. But the Bible said now, we have a problem because when Jezebel heard, not Jesus Christ, that Elijah killed the prophets of Baal, called down fire, and the people's turn and begin to worship God. She got cross, angry, and miserable. Touch your neighbor, say, We're gonna make them angry. She made a declaration and sent a message to Elijah. She said, May God deal with me. Be it ever so severe. If by this time tomorrow, I don't make your life a living hell. I'm going to kill you. Somebody praise God. Lift your hand as a neighbor. I know you're under threat. I know some evil Jezebel. Some evil force is sending a threat. Of death to your life. I, I told you I wasn't talking to anybody. They send a sickness threat to kill you. They're looking forward to your funeral. I don't know which Dalios you mash up, but some of you mash up some people, Dalios. So them can't take you. Them don't like you. Cause all where them are try to do. You stand up in a damn way. You're big and bad. Because God have your back. Come on, somebody here. Reverend, I should have let you preach here. Somebody praise God. Somebody say, Jezebel, you can't touch this. I am not afraid. Ah, sit down. You're frightening me. Ah, yeah, yeah, but shut the Bible said a great prophet uh, was afraid uh, and ran for his life. Uh, when some people threaten you, uh, and you know said so they're wicked, uh, they're full of witchcraft and hope you. Uh, truth be told, uh, sometimes it drives fear in you. Not true, somebody. Uh, when you know some people are wicked, uh, and you see what they try to do, what they do to some other people, and them threaten you. The Bible said Elijah became afraid and ran for his life. Somebody praise God. Came to be a Sheba. Left his servant. Went under a broom tree. Sat down under the tree. And prayed that he might die. Somebody said the devil is a liar. Yeah, though I walk. I want to preach. Through the valley of the shadow of death, I will not fear no Jezebel, no Delilah, no Ahab, no Obia Walker. Somebody help me here. Praise God like you feel him. Shout a hallelujah. Do not be afraid of the terrible idea 
nor the horror by night fret not thyself somebody help the preacher somebody praise God praise God no man I feel like a preacher can I preach it like I feel it he said I have had enough Lord he said take my life can you imagine the man was so stressed out the man was so afraid that he begged God instead of Jezebel kill me you kill me God somebody holler no way I know my time yet why we are gonna get somebody said Jezebel if I war you want I war you are gonna get we're ready for the war somebody now praise God here yeah. lift your hand and give him a shout of praise lift up a shout of praise in him he lay down under the bush and fell asleep you know touch him and say wake up wake up and no time for sleep me know you have got through it but you can't give up yet life still in you breath still a blue trust God somebody now talk to me you're not dead yet while there is life while there is life while there is life Somebody praise God. Somebody praise your God. Lift up the name of Jesus. The best of us, you know, can become afraid. The best of us can become scared when some weapon form and some evil turn up in your face. It make you afraid. Coward. Make you want to run away. But when the wicked, even my enemies, came upon me to eat up my flesh, they will, they will, they will feel God here. I'm going to preach here. Lift your hand and praise the Lord. Lift your hand and praise God. Now watch this. While Elijah lay down on the bush tree, waiting to die, God sent an angel and start a fire. Put on one pudding, cornmeal pudding. You know, I said nothing. Fire top. And the other day, have woven. Fire bottom. Hallelujah. We don't know them pudding there. A them the one they sweet you know. And you don't know when granny a bake. And now we don't have no oven. Fire top. Fire bottom. Hallelujah. In the middle. Lift your hands and say fire top. Fire bottom. Hallelujah. In the middle. Somebody shout hallelujah. Because you are God, Pitney. And God say you are no time for dead yet. God say you go and rest. Make me bake pudding for you. So while him wait for dead, God will bake one pudding. Potato pudding. Cornmeal pudding. Hallelujah. When the pudding don't bake, the angel wake him up and say, get up boy. Eat your food. Lift your hand and say, neighbor. Stop, stop yourself. Name your food. No weapon. No demon. Go, Lord Jesus. Stop sleep to death. You shall not die. I hear God say, before I allow you to dead, I fool your gut with pudding. Somebody now talk to me. Before I make death reach you. I give you a belly full. Somebody say, Lord, fill my cup, Lord. I lift it up, Lord. Come and quench this thirsting of my soul. What is this? Bread of heaven. Can I preach, Rev? Feed me till I want no more. 
fill my cup fill it up and make me somebody praise God no man lift your hand and praise God eat your food they want maga your dung them want you fret to death but nam your food cook your food go down a supermarket go down a meat shop buy your pork buy your chicken buy your rice and peas go cook a pot can I preach here nam your food hallelujah somebody praise the Lord the angels say wake up your journey long eat your food don't prepare us a table before me in the presence of my enemies thou anointest my head with oil my cup run it over surely goodness and mercy eat your food somebody lift your hand and say this is my season of breakthrough of deliverance miracle of follow me so I can't die now tell Jezebel reverse the order reverse the curse I send it back to you Jezebel if you threaten me dog I go lick your blood if you threaten the prophet if you threaten the member them Jezebel dog I go lick I feel my preacher coming preacher. somebody say preacher I feel like I want to touch the highway preacher. sister Misha lift your hand and praise God Glory. somebody say who them who wants to stop your food God bake your cake God say eat your cake drink your water somebody take a drink no man take a drink your journey long a holy drink you drink today no? it is a life drink every drink you drink today you drink into life somebody all alive you drink into strength somebody says strength sound like church there now somebody praise God the Bible said he looked around and there at his head was some bread baked over hot coal and a jar of water he ate and drink lay down one dead what is man? The angel come back second time. Touch him. Get up and eat. Oh, For the journey is too much. Somebody praise God. He get up, eat and drink. Start the journey. Touch your neighbor say, get up, eat and drink. God is about to take you to place you've never been before. Jezebel can't catch you. Evil can't kill you. Rise up and eat your food. Sickness can't kill you. Hungry can't hurt you. Yes, Witchcraft can't move you. Dealerance can't get rid of you. Somebody now praise God here. They can't murder you. They can't yam your food. You are blessed and highly favored. Somebody shout deliverance. Preach. Oh, 
out your one dead. Listen and say, neighbor, stop fret to death. Fret not yourself because of evil doers. They soon come out of hiding. Oh, what is man? What is father? Oh, what could have caused this? Aya? Somebody praise God, no man. Lift your hand and praise God. Then why you gonna lay down? I know we are up. And why you run away? I'm gonna hide in a cave. Lift your hand and say, neighbor, I've been there before. God hide me already. Feed me already. Fat me up already. Send me out. Now I'm looking in. I'm looking out. I'm looking better. Me now I go back in there. Tell some people where you come from. Where God take you out. You now go back. In oh, Jesus. Somebody make up your katora. Somebody. Ay, 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 ay. Somebody get in. Am I preaching to the church? Hey God, what is this? All who want to send you back. Where God take you out. Tell them, no way. It can't work. Me come out already. Me now go back in no cave. Me now hide again. I'm climbing the mountain. Shout hallelujah. Hallelujah. The man get up. Eat and drink. Took a journey. Lord Jesus Christ. Somebody praise God. The Bible said, the angel said, eat and drink. Strengthened by the food. He traveled 40 days, 40 nights, till he reached Horeb. The mountain of God. There, he found and saw a cave. I wonder if I see a cave where God put him in and hide him, sir. Take him out there and send him to go challenge Jezebel. No, the man gone back in a cave. Go hide. Afraid of Jezebel. Some people, you were at the end. You did a go on good, you know? Life did a go on good for you. So all the wicked, bad mind. Treacherous, envious, lying, deceiving people. See, God, I bless you. I want to push you back. Lord Jesus. Want to mess up your life. Want to steal your joy. Want to rob your peace. Huh? Want to stop you from where God will carry you. Somebody say, who them? Master God. Somebody praise God here. He went into a cave. Spent the night hiding from Jezebel. Oh, we know he was hiding. The word of the Lord came to him. What are you doing here, Elijah? What are you doing here? Watch this. The Bible said, we start complaining. He start grumble. So much fear upon him. He had a big bad prophet. God never let me reach there. I have been very zealous for the Lord God Almighty. Israel have rejected your covenant, tore down your altar, put your prophets to death with the sword, and I'm the only one left. And now they're trying to kill me too. What a heap of grumbling. What are you doing in there? I brought you there before. 
Protect you. Fed you. Take care of you. Strengthen you. Now me send you upon a mission. One Jezebel. Make you run back. God Jesus. In a cave. One dead. Hiding. What is this? Do you know who you are? God said to tell you, I give you power. Whatever you bind on earth is. Jesus said, you shall tread upon some. You shall tread upon some. I feel the floor now. I feel the pedal are good on. Somebody praise God here. I feel the pedal are good on now. Lift your hand and say, I've been there before. I've been through hell. Been through rough time. I suffered. Got through a whole lot. Now my breakthrough come. Some people want you go back. In a cave go hide. The devil is a liar. Your time of hiding is over. Come out. Come out. Come out. Come out. Somebody say Florida man. Come out of hiding. Your miracle waiting on you. Come out from your graveyard. Come out from your tomb. Come out yes, of your casket. Preach. Come out Preach, from under your bed. Yes. Come out Preach, of hiding. No demons. You can't stop. Preach. They can't stop you. God of your back. Ride out on them. Look them in the face and say, He that dwelleth in the secret place of the most high shall abide. Lucy preacher, come out of hiding. Come out. No sickness. No pain. No backache. No bellyache. Can't stop you. Come out. Come out. Your time of hiding is over. It's time yes, sir. to live your best life. Tell doctor, back up. Tell lawyer, back up. Tell police, back up. Gunman, back up. Murderer, back up. Lying tongue, back up. Jezebel, back up. You know make me hide. I'm coming out. I'm gonna shine, 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 shine. What are you doing here? Preach, prophet. We are the back in the cave. God, take you out already. Deliver you from them. Now we give you power. Unless you don't get none. Tell some wicked people. You can't make me go back. Where may I come from? The devil is a liar. I'm in a one dead neither. You know make me dead. You can't make me want to kill myself. You know make me commit suicide. Somebody praise God here. Who are you? I going to fight. Come out. Your days of hiding. Who am I prophesying to here? We don't hide from some people. All the threat what they must send. All the attack what they must bring on. Tell them we don't hide. We don't go live in a no cave. We are live on the mountain. We are enjoy with blessing. Who God bless? Who God bless? Come out of hiding. Your days of hiding is over.
went back in the cave. The Lord said, all right, I'm going to show you, sir. My body sting around here. And I'm here run things and I'm here run you. The Bible said, then the Lord said, go out and stand at the mountain. In the presence of the Lord. For the Lord is about to pass. Lift your hand and say, neighbor, God is about to pass. Then a great and powerful wind tore the mountain. God has shown him power. God, what does God have to do to move you? Wait. Somebody say, God, show forth your power. Show forth your power, God. He said, am I not the God of the wind? Yeah. Am I not the God of the earthquake? You see all them earthquakes where I shake all over the place? God is God. Nobody can stop them. Then America can't fire bomb. Right now, America is afraid. Yeah? 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 Because if any country attack, them can attack. But when God attack, then can't fire back. Lightning struck them statue, and them couldn't stop it. Earthquake rocked New York, and them couldn't stop it. All the bomb where they have, all the soldier where they have, they can't stop God's hand. Somebody say, neighbor, anyway God will carry you. Nobody can stop you. Because God will show them sign that he's God by himself. You just need to trust God. He said, Elijah, you don't trust me. Let me show you that I am God of the wind. I'm God of the earthquake. I am God of the fire. So I'm pass through with fire. Pass through with earthquake. Rock the mountain. And say, do you know who I am? I am the God of your life. How come you're afraid of one Jezebel? Do you know I can shake her down? You know I can turn her? Somebody praise God. Touch your neighbor, say, trust God. And go and turn your haters. And go and show them who are God. Hey, can I preach? Somebody say, my God is a God of fire. Is a God of earthquake. Is a God of wind. If you trouble me, my God will trouble you. Come out of your cave. Your days of hiding is over. Time for your breakthrough. Time for your blessing. God protect you. Deliver you. Save you. Come out. How may I preach to man? They have you in a cave. Lie down one dead. Oh God, take my life. I want to die. I feel like dying. Excuse me. You feel like dying? Excuse me, the devil is a liar. If God did want you dead, he would have make you dead long time. Because the amount of warfare and attack where you go through. And you're still here. Mean God have a plan for your life. So tell all of them, touch not the Lord. Not do his servant come out of hiding. Your time of deliverance has arrived. Is your time for a breakthrough? Your enemy shall be your footstool. I'm a preacher, not a blogger. Hide for you gotta hide. Some people push you in a cave, some people make you a fret. Every day of your life, you get up and worry and stress out yourself. You feel like you want to just give up on them and then threaten every fabric of your life, every corner you turn, every little blessing they want to tear you up. Bad mind, envious, workless, wicked, now going to a family member. Some of them, eh? you know what I'm preach? One come at your funeral. Come sing, sleep and beloved. Sleep and take your rest. Lay down your head upon your Savior's breast. 
We love you well, but Jesus, love your best. Good night. The devil is a liar. You're not tell me good night. You know, I am no food, drink no rum, I am no rice and curry. Whoever might, the blood of Jesus, I'm too blessed to be stressed, too anointed. And who may I talk to in other church? Yeah? We come out of that already. We can't go back. He said, Elisha, what are you doing in here? What are you doing here? I brought you through this experience already. Lift your hand and say, Lord, help me never to go through what I have already been through. Oh, God Almighty. God, God what is this? So no can't manage me today. Lord, let me never experience in my lifetime again what I have already experienced. I feel God here. Somebody say, Lord, turn it around. Your days of hiding is hope. Let me say the Bible said the Lord sent shake the place with earthquake violent wind violent earthquake violent fire and then he came with a still small voice and he said Elijah have you seen my power so what are you afraid of? Don't you know who I am? What are you doing in here? Instead of him go, I say, all right, God, may I come out and go rock down Jezebel. The man start complaining again. Again, you know, after I see the power of God manifest on the mountainside, you know, instead of the man rise up, you know, and say, God, I hate this. Gone, me gone. Jezebel won't kill me and break down your altar. And I'm the only one left. And now them won't kill me. God said, you know what? All right. All right. All right. All right. Since you get coward, afraid, uh, and you don't know, understand who I am right now, here is what I want you to do. Come out, I kill, man. Yeah. And you're more you do. More you go back where you come from. God, Jesus Christ. I want you to go back the way. Oh God. I can't go back. Go back the way you came and go through the desert. Since you're afraid of Jezebel, hide and go through. Because you're afraid. When you get there, God shock him now. God says, since you're coward, since you're afraid and since you're complaining and you love the king, when you get there, anoint Aziel, king over Aram. Anoint Jehu, son of Nimshi, king over Israel. God, Jesus Christ. Anoint Elisha, son of Shephat of Abel, to succeed you as prophet. Oh, God. Oh, God. Jehu will put to death. Any who escaped the sword of Hazael. And Elisha will put to death any who escaped the sword of Jehu. What does that mean? Because of fear, cowardness, and frustration, him losing position. Somebody else get the power. The Lord says, since you're afraid and coward and you're undead, I may mean, give you a chance to come out and go do my work and you're there complain. All right, more you go back and anoint some other people and you come up. 
Elijah lost his job as the prophet of Israel because he was afraid of the enemy and of Jezebel. God said you must not be afraid of the terror nor the arrow. Are you with me here? Yeah. I want you to bravely today. More you get aggressive and lift your feet and lift your hand in other church today. And say, anywhere God will carry me, nobody can take it. Any blessing God give me, nobody now get it. Nobody now take me place. I am giving them a word. Somebody praise God. Lift your hand and praise the Lord. Lift your hand and wake up, Kizzy. Lift your hand and give him a praise. Somebody shout hallelujah here. Yeah. Lift your hand and say, neighbor, me not know about you, but me not lose my job, not lose my position, not lose my power, me not go before my time. So tell Jezebel, go to hell. I am alive. I am delivered. I am powered up, full with power. If you touch a button, palm me cute shirt, you're dead like dog. Somebody praise God. Lift your hand and say, neighbor, don't make nobody take your place. Rise up, come out of the cave. God give you power, fight your battle, fight for your family, fight for your generation, fight for your children, fight for your life. Somebody praise God, rock up your body, tell that sickness, come out of this. You have no authority to kill this your body. He was wounded for my, I feel it coming now. I feel the flooring. He was bruised for my iniquity. The chastisement of my peace was upon him, and by his side I am healed. No weapon, no demon, no devil from hell can stop me breakthrough. All who want me position, hold your position, back up and back off. You little Satan, somebody praise God. Lift your hand and say, neighbor, somebody pull on somebody and say, come out, come out of hiding. Your days of hiding is over. He said, I give you power. Whatever you tread, whatever you bind is bound. Whatever you lose is loose. Tread upon them. Take back your life, take back your joy, take back your peace, take up your ministry. Some of you God call you, may I chat to somebody. I think you're there on TikTok, can I preach it here? God call you to be a demon chaser. God who open your eye, give your vision, give your dreams, give your power, make you a seer, your sittings. Before it happen, God give you a 19. And you make some people put you in hiding. Cause you are afraid of the spirit of Jezebel. You have a ministry to preach. But you know what I preach. You say Mark Stuart brave. But you know so brave. You're brave like bull. Come out of hiding. Come out your days of hiding is over is your time to shine have i not called you have i not sent you have i not anoint you have i not give you power can i preach you like a feeling where you hide for where you hide about you're afraid of people mouth Afraid our people are chat. Afraid our people are saying, What are you afraid for? Bible said the man was afraid. One threat from Jezebel. Run, guy. 
I said, Lord, take my life for one day. God said, all right. Since you're not hear me, I'm passing at the fire. Passing at the wind. Heard quick. Now he came with that still small by What are you doing in here? Be a complaint. So look how work this Christian in a church. But then get up, go serve God and go lick down demons and devil. You're afraid one give up and backslide one left church, but people don't like you and people won't kill you and people don't, and people this and people that and everything and people, 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 people. To hell with people. We are living for people are God. Some of you make people are running your life. I'm afraid that people now want to do the will of God. And look up there walking demonic, satanic people. You're afraid of them. What is man? Huh? God said, well, on. I expect you to kill some people. You kill some and left some. And instead of you go finish the job, one Jezebel have you in a hiding. He said, all right. And nine has hell to kill. Jehu to kill. And Elijah to succeed you. And who them can kill? Hey, when Jehu reach a town, man, big bad Jehu, look up on the window and see Jezebel up there. I put on our Brazilian wig. And I add up herself and I put on makeover. And look down and say, who are you? You are Chubby Becker. Do you know who I am? You can't kill me. I'm the big bad Jezebel. Jehu look up and say, who is for me up there? And who is against? Anybody who is for me, lift her up and show her down. And some of our own made them grab her, you see? And let her go through the window. And when she lands, splash. Everything busts up. Dog devour her blood. Elijah could have done it. The big bad Elijah run. Because some of you don't know the power you carry when you're a child of God. That's why some of you left church and go walk up here. And go to witchcraft. Because you do not understand the power of God. That God give you. To destroy any force. Hello. Just the way I talk, Mark Stewart, the man there. I have people in high places trembling. I tell you that. You remember a few months ago what Cyrus said? Cyrus looked at a man and said, The community where you come from, there was a woman there that troubled the children them. A school gate. I feed them bad food and I said. And one woman parent decides to get up and find one man. You want to hear the man name? Mark Stewart. He said, he said, that man, I hear from God. And man is a dangerous man. Was, he said was. He don't want to say is. Because he don't want to make it look like, you know. So he might, he might use was, past tense. But what he actually want to say, he present the is. So I'm not the truth where God love. And I say, I'm and sure take time and go down. You know, she said, take time, I get unpopular. You see my ride up and down all over the place, I do something. You think people don't find out what I go on? And some people go and get the long old list of how they are sitting them. And when they go in and say, what? I want, what do you mean? A hundred and a thousand have to go spend, go buy some, something, but they don't know what they need. I want the people run out of that and say, where? Only a matter of time. I'm still there. But I live to hear him declare. Because he made the mistake, write me letter. And things say it did go go so. Things say it did go go so. And some people said to me, Well, you take it so? 
You're not going to get lie. You're not going to get See that? See me liar there. See me judge there. See me money there. Are you some of me a fool? You want to know it there? Contend, Lord, with those who contend with me. Fight against those who fight against me. Take up your shield and armor. Arise, O oh God, and come to my head. Brandish your sword and javelin against those who pursue marks toward. Say to me, I am your salvation. May those who seek my life be discreet. There's not a God in heaven. It's Elijah. What you doing in here? Let me show you that I am powerful. Pass with the wind, the earthquake, and the fire. Just to show Elijah, say, is God. Then he come with the still small voice. And he said, What are you doing in here? And the man still a complain. He said, All right, go back where you come from and go anoint some other people and come up. Your time done. Are you coward? You're fearful. You're free. I want you to rise in this season and dispel every fear and face your enemies head on. Face some people dead in their face and tell them so they can't do you nothing because God is with you. And you're not going in no depression. You're not going in no hiding. You're not going in no cave. And on drunk and on can my bread come to you. And it broke dry up long time. God expects you to propel to greater glory. And not be worried. And timid and scared of people who seek after your life. They shall die before you. As a matter of fact, some people need to know the biggest mistake they ever make. I try to challenge you as a child of God. Your days of hiding is over. Hallelujah. You sound good? I'm prophetic. Today is the eighth day. Eclipse day. Destruction day. America plan to attack heaven with missile. How are this man? America make one machine. Four billion US. And them have light it up and fire it up today. To use the opportunity to open up Harbit because they say that it was not God who formed the earth, it was a big bang. So now they have created a massive weapon tool that they want to reenact, saying they're going to create a big bang today in the heavens and show how earth was formed and created. And they're going to open up portals to see what is beyond. The heaven is up there. And they're firing three missiles to open up the space. And then they're going to shoot in their big thing to look beyond what they can't see. They're going to use the darkness of the eclipse to fire in and go view way behind and open portals. But on the machine and on the company that is making it, there's a demonic devil sign. In a demonic order because Satan is at work. Get ready for America's destruction. 
call your family them and tell them fly out. You can't attack heaven. You can dare to attack God's creation. You are mad, somebody. Huh? The Bible said, I was teaching this morning. They try, and the same thing. Oh God, why did you? God really did work with me now. The Lord brought me back to Iraq. And somewhere there, they were building the Tower of Babel, Nimrod. You remember? They built rock. They, that was the first time they know and design bricks and make butter, Martha, and start lay bricks so they might try to reach heaven. And the Bible said, God said, what is this? If these people speaking with one language are, have become so powerful and their mind is thinking that they can build something to come up to me. I have to do something about it. So the Bible said he threw them into confusion and caused them to begin to speak different language and then throw them out into other parts of the earth. And that's why we end up now with Chinese, Japanese, black, white, Syrian, Indian, and everybody speaking a different language. It was an attack on heaven that caused it. And let me tell you something why this prophet is getting a new revelation that is bringing me right back to that place of Nimrod when they tried to attack heaven. And isn't it now that I just get it is what he's trying to say to me from morning, from yesterday, I mean, I get it, I just get it now. He's saying, isn't that what America is trying to do? They're trying to go up in a God face. And so like Nimrod and those people, he's about to show them who is God. A double lightning strike. They, 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 they start you up on New York. Day. Double lightning drop on one of the foot and one of the head. You see the next one? That are dropping our water. Remember when God got ready to destroy um, um, Jericho? He let the, him not just go in and march down. He let the people march and shout seven days and seven. You remember? And weaken the foundation. Can you see that statue there of liberty? And nothing normal in it. Strong. He built powerful. A whole heap of work going to it. A whole heap of high and high. As you see, it's not simple. But it is representing the Queen Eshtar with the seven horns that is on it and the torch. It is the queen of sexuality. Yeah? That's what she represents, Eshtar. Or. So that's why New York is where all of these development of this homosexuality and all these develops. Because the queen on the waters is representing and invoking those demonic sodomic action yeah so that is why when the attack comes that city is going to be taken out because the revelation 18 tells us one hour and she's down one hour and it's done burn with fire I watch I love to watch CNN may I stop now may I don't want to watch no more CNN. Because man read her name again. One, one little one there with glasses. Some tell her name. But, but just recently the one named Dan Lehman. I watched the man there all the time. You know. No wonder he did a chump so. He ball when chump lose. He crying tears of joy when chump lose. And he wanted the other side. Who man marry in a Presbyterian church and I walk down New York with three dogs and him girl and him man a kiss up. Hmm? And what I am understanding now is that most of these anchor men at this station, they are that. A CNN, one of the biggest powerful network in the world, is carrying pure gay. Can you imagine? So they have the power to turn 
even the news how they want to suit their thing. That's what we're under, you know. That's why in the pandemic, the news media was so supportive and so hankering because they are part of the plot to destroy humanity. They're paid, bought, and they have their men who are part of their plan in there. Huh? We are come out of hiding, man. We now go hiding and no kill. You know which other man was hiding um, uh, in the book of uh, uh, Judges 6. The Bible said Gideon. When they oppressed the people. Gideon started hiding things in the, in the wine, you know. The first time God come and said, come out of that. What you doing here, mighty warrior? It's time to fight battle. Pull down the altar them. Mash down the gods. And let me give you power to fight the enemy. Come out hiding. Yes. You have power. Are you ready today? Yes. The altar must speak for you. The what? As you get ready to make that declaration today in this church at this altar that your time and your days of hiding is over. I want you to put something on it, tangible. I know there's 10 people in this church can put 8,000. I want eight representing the date. Eclipse date. The fourth month. The eighth day. Double. 2024. Double again. Today is not a normal day. Hallelujah. It's a day when the season and the time is about to change. After today, mark my word, the world will never be the same again. Get ready for people mourning and crying. See, I, want, I keep saying it and I know when I say it, some of you cringe and vex. Today, the yesterday evening, Saturday evening, the Spanish uh, headmaster of Cornwall College, healthy woman, left school, go holiday, I go back to school this morning. Took sick, went to Cornwall Regional, Saturday evening, and yesterday, Sunday, job day. Just so. No condition, complication, all that. All of a sudden, sudden drop out. You see, when them fire up in other something, when they turn on them something, a lot of people are going to drop them. So when all the machine they turn on, and the network, and everything light up, some people body are going to light up. Because everything is part of the plan. That they're not telling you. That only divine people can know. I'm not going in no hiding. Today is new beginning. I want eight people. To so 8,000. Where are you? And declare my time and day of hiding is over. I'm walking out today into my miracle and my breakthrough. Where is my first eight? In my first eight. Hallelujah. I know who God says I am. Where's my head, people moving quick and far? Where he says I'm at. I know who I am. Eight people. Hold it, mama. Hold it in your hand. Hold it in your hand. Eight. New beginning. 
I want to turn around breakthrough for breakthrough. And when breakthrough get it, you get it. Eight people, two gone. Eight! Oh, yo, 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 yo. What? We didn't care much. Turn up with it. I have a pulley care come with Five more. Eight. I'm not saying you're begging you. It's a serious move. Eight. To change your life for the better. Eight. That's one. Put it in there. Those with the eight, come and stand. Eight. Are you hearing? I'm coming to you. How much is that? Sit down, I'm coming to you. I want to deal with the eight. I'm coming to everybody. You're all important. I don't want them to tick that. I'm going to say me. You're not lucky enough. Okay? People say me send back people to it. Okay? Everything, they might listen to me hard, you know, man. And then one, and me, then one black out. At least me have one good one. We're not too bad, you man. You man black the good thing and I promote the prophetic. But the rest of them, well, some of them come like then take one in, then come off of it and disappear. Cause we not we not take threat. Any blogger, wrongfully black me tell no life for me. Remember me tell you, him shall block to in graveyard. Network has shut down, catch a fire. But them better careful. I'm serious. If I'm a man of God, like Elijah, I can't. Hey, Elijah was so afraid that when people come to him, the power that was in him in call long fire and make him burn them up. That's how powerful he was. And people have to beg for their life. He was so hungry, he burned up people. And God gave him the power and he did it. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Lift your hand. Lift your sacrifice. Raise it. Say, God, today is the eighth day of the fourth month. Eclipse day. When the sun is shadowed by the moon. It is the day of sign and wonders in the heaven. But today is my day. I'm coming out of the cave. My hiding days are over. Upon this sacrifice of 8,000, I declare a new beginning in my life today. Everything that has been dormant, everything that has been dead, everything that has been hidden from my life, come alive in Jesus' name. Do you believe? I feel fire on this oil. I anoint my hand with the oil. I feel a burning fire. Receive fire of deliverance. In the name of Jesus, I stamp and mark you for great miracles in aid. I am no blogger. I am no scammer. I'm a prophet and I prophesy upon your sacrifice a new day will dawn. In your life. In Jesus name. Come on praise God. Well, lift your hand. I want you to declare four things in your mind. Out that you need God to do for you right now. And I guarantee in four months. Everything will come true. Your prayer is answered. Your breakthrough has arrived. Receive. A new anointing, a new blessing with us in the name of Jesus. What's wrong with you? Fibers, yes. Everybody else, I'm praying for something the Lord said lay hands and kill fibers. How much? Six centimeters. And you sew on it. Every operation, I cancel it. Every diabolical 
six centimeter fiber. I declare healing power of God. Melt! Melt! Break! Drop! Disappear! In Jesus' name. Believe God. Come on, sing. Come on, girl. Lift your hand. Any request, I claim it granted today. By fire, by force. Holy God! Reverse the curse. Yes, I write this. I write this up. And break the spell. Every curse and every spell that has dropped upon your life. Holding your back and setting your back and stopping your breakthrough. I reverse every curse and break every generational spell that in the name of Jesus. Release. I speak Jesus. Come on. She da 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 bazai. Lift your hand. Your name is power. Come on, church. Your name is he. Fire of God. Your name is Fire of Fire up. Fire up. Break every stronghold. Shine through the dark. As of today, I Burn own this like card. And every time you lift this card and call my name, you shall I collect on it. Speak the name of Jesus. So I have 8,000 on it. But Over by the time you're ready to pay off it, anxiety. it will have so much. You might want to double it. To every soul it captive by depression. Do you believe the financial breakthrough Jesus. is about to hit your car in double triple digits? Your name is power. Take. Your name is breakthrough. Your name is love. Money miracle. Hello, woman. You believe in the prophet? You sure? You're confident Burn about this prophet? Yeah? You know nothing bad for say about the prophet? Yeah? You sure? Sure, sure? When you get rich, remember me. Jesus in the street. Can you praise God? In it? Jesus in the darkness and over heaven. Married woman. Somebody praise God. Hold on. I'm using the numbers. 2024, the fourth month. I want 24 people to sell $4,000. I got eight represent the date. I want 24 people in the year of 2024, the fourth month, to sell $4,000. I want you to rise if you can find it and come to me. 4,000. 4,000. Come. 24 people. I want to pray for you. Today is the day of new beginning. You're coming out of the cave of nothingness, separation, depression. Only four people. Stand up. Look like I can go four. At 24, I'm saying. And you're there. 4,000, right. Come. Come on. You're watching on live. You're watching on YouTube. You're watching on TikTok. Don't cuss me now. So on it. Those on YouTube, find my live. Find my information. Find the ministry information. Somebody post it if you got it. So eight or four, anywhere you are, this is the day for new beginning. Your days of hiding is over. It is your time for miracle. I just wanna speak the Two, four, six, eight, nine, twenty-four. Miss it. If you have it, get up. If you don't have it today, pledge it for next week. Twenty-four. There is freedom. Come. I Come. speak Jesus. Come. 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 Come
Your name is power. Your name is healing. Your name is love. Somebody else sitting down on it. Break every stronghold. Shine through the shadow. Burn like, burn like a fire. fire. Come with that seed. You need healing. You need deliverance. Pay on it. I just want to speak the name of Jesus. Jesus. I'm waiting. Over fear and all anxiety. I'm waiting. Wait. I'm waiting for more. There are more people here. 4,000. Rise and come. If you don't feel it, stay. If you feel it, come with it. Of your loan to go pay your loan. You're taking that money soon. So if you don't get back your loan, I got to have to pay it. You believe God is going to get double. That's faith. Some of you sitting there looking at me. I think it's a joke. That's how I tell you. That's the problem with people go to church. They go to Obia Man, they have to pay it cash. You go to church. Is if you feel like you do it. If you don't want to, you sit and look. If you go doctor, you have to pay the bill. Go up your money, you have to pay the bill. The supermarket, you have to pay the bill. But when you come to church, you want the prayer. You don't want to sow. You don't want to activate the altar. Raise your sacrifice. Your name is here. I'm not going to stay here and beg you and wait on you. I promise. Your name is love. Raise your sacrifice. Break every stronghold, shine to the shadow, burn like the fire. Your name is your wave it. Just wave it. Your name. Hold it. Hold it. Leave your sacrifice. Yes, I'm not kidding. If you don't have no faith, go back with your money. I said, today you're coming out of your cave. I said, today there will be no more hiding. Miracles shall hit you. No more fear. You're going to have faith now. The Lord says, you are dead, dead way. Eat your food. because You have a journey to cover. I'm going to strengthen you. A Jezebel can't kill you. You're undeadable. You still run go high. Come out today. You're coming out. Lift your sacrifice. Say, Lord, I decree and declare on this eighth day of the fourth month of 2024 that my new beginning will start as the moon cross the sun bring darkness to her let my light shine like the noonday and my blessing overflow with triple zero do you know if triple zero hit your four thousand you're talking about four million and more that means the house done you know? oh that means the man you know and pay off you know? huh? and change the whole left you know? This time we don't pray for you today. God, the money that will hit you, you shall go and say, I come to clear my loan. Amen. You're not just coming to pay down, you're coming to clear. Amen. Early clearance. Say early clearance. early clearance. You shall be able to take out something else. Amen. Whatever it is you will choose. Lift your hand. You believe. That's three, yeah, all your three. Do you believe? I'm going to anoint you. People, 
I said, people are telling me, prophet, don't stop what you're doing. It's just because some people are afraid to talk and not talk. But your ministry and your anointing and your prayers is, is blessing a lot of people. Especially when I go foreign, the amount of people they are foreign telling me, listen, man of God, you prayed for me. You believed God with me and it was done. So now when I pray, I do with confidence, mama, that if you agree and believe with me, I see your sister sending for you. Get ready. We're going back. What? I prophesy. When you go already. And now the prophet is telling you. They're sending for you again. I say, sister, come up and do this and do that. And work for us. You're going back. Your ticket is getting ready to be purchased. I will not see you shortly. Break every shot. Get ready. Receive. Double, double, double. Come on. Now that you're confessed, now that you're free, now that you're free of, take anointing, take fire, take power. I know there is peace within your presence. I speak Jesus. What's your name? Almost, hold it. Almost call you Jennifer. Almost call you Jennifer. Because I heard the name Jennifer. But you're John. So who is Jennifer? Jesus! I am breaking a generation curse of you that have been on you from about six years old. I don't know what happened then. But there are things that have been happening to you. It's mysterious. There's some mysterious, mischievous things that happen to your life over a lifespan. And you're always here, you say, God, what is this? Huh? Every time something is about to come through, gone back. It's like every road you take, block. Relationship, block. Children, block. Family, if you help you, block. From six years, I am going back to reverse the curse. Upon your sacrifice, this is your eighth day. You're coming out of your cave. And I broke you off from every diabolical generational control curse of witch and witchcraft that is holding you and holding you captive. Heal of a shadow. one rough hard one feel like you're gonna die woman I'm telling lie huh? you have to have truth sir the third one was supposed to kill you she is dead I don't know how you come out of it all the doctor them everybody I say we oh they what <laughs> He left me. The doctor, they run left you in a Huh? Me, I feel for myself. 
The umbilical cord of it to tie up the baby. You have to hold up the baby. Pull off the cord. Release yourself. Doctor, run, nephew. The third child. When you call, nobody not fear you, no man. You were supposed to die there with that child. Grace and mercy. But you're still there in the face of your haters. And now I lay hands on you as the prophet Mark Stewart. And I reverse every curse that should have killed you. And every hiding cave that them have you. Every depressed, oppressed, setback. In your life, your days of hiding is over. Woman, thou art loose and delivered by fire in Jesus' mighty name. Give God the praise here. Your name is power. Your name is Holy Ghost. Money miracle. Diabolical sickness in your head, in your eyes. I command miracle of healing to hit your body now in Jesus' name. I said, Your days of hiding is over. I prophesied to you the last time I saw you. I prophesy again. You're not ready to leave. Huh? You're not ready to go. You're only thinking about it. You think I'm not serious? I said, come out of low the bar or your life will be caged till you hold. You're in a dead place. Living a dead life. Unhappy. Not skyrocketing, not spiraling. It is because of your choice to sit around and wait around and hope for the best. Don't hope for the best. Claim the best. But you have to come out of law divide to Jerusalem. That's my prophecy to you. And you will see better days. You deserve more and better. The Lord is telling me to tell you. Don't tie up the earth. Release yourself. Sometimes, sometimes we don't understand, you know, man. God won't carry you know, some place. Some little people have a life tied down. Hold on and we feel say I eat this up. And God will tell you, you see, sometimes God will show you the sign and I'll give you the warning. But we sit on and hold on and feel like say I hit that. And you see, any you gonna take it no further. And when it get tied up and messy, you can't come out again. At this or no, just start. Magadon. Because you did a get the sign and the warning and not take it. That's still some advice. So come out and go. Let me have said you get ready. No think about it. Run for your life. Greater is before you. Go make life now. Yes, sir. You're living in low demand. Holy Father, pull her out of the cave. Take her out of hiding. Every set trap and every booby trap, every diabolical tied up, bust the card, broke the altar. Reverse the order. Yes, sir. Center. Packing. Your journey is long. Eat your cake.
Alors, I'm playing today. I said, you're coming out. Your days of hiding is over. Sing. Hey, break every stone. One touch. Miracle. What is your name? Sancho. Why are you not? John Jesus on the mountain. Jesus in the street. Jesus in the darkness over every end. Do you believe? Do you know me? The first time you're coming. You've been here before. Do you have numbness? Sometimes your hands are numb. And your pressure high. Jesus in the darkness over every Today is the eighth day of April 2024. I lay hand on you and I command every numb spirit, every high pressure in your eyes, disappear, loose, healing, looser. One, two, three, fire, fire, fire. Holy Ghost, fire. Your name is healing. Somebody worship. Your name is love. I wish you would worship. You're coming out of the cave. The world is about to see you. The world is about to notice you. You have waited and your time of deliverance has come. Get ready to move to another place. Get ready for a higher level. Get ready for a big house. Get ready for a massive breakthrough. Get ready for a big job. Get ready for a... Bless. 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 Four, four. Yeah, 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 yeah. Your name is power. You say. 
Come, Mama. 2,000. Come. Everybody. 20 people can do 2,000. 1,000. 2,000. Come. Everybody who can do it. I just wanted to come. Come, come, come. 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 Laba, don't put it in. Come, come. Lift your feet and come. Come. Your name is power. Your name. Your name is healing. Ooh, your name is love. Ooh, la 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 la. Break every stroke. Oh. Shine through the shadow. Burn like the fire. Hold it. If I'm not a prophet, then I'm nobody. Jesus. A while ago, as you walk up here, the Lord said to tell you, I have noticed you and your dedication. And he told me to tell you, your filing is coming true. Get ready. This is the eighth day, new beginning. You're coming out. It's coming true. Get ready. Last week, you know what, Prophet? Last week there was a woman who came to Huntspen for about a month. Yes, Non-stop. Sir. She wanted to get through with filing. Somebody sent her. She put her documents. She sowed the seed. Last week, Thursday, she went. Normal girl. Not much. Two questions. After we pray, our filing and our son, gone. A while ago, as you were coming, the Lord said, tell that young lady, I have noticed you and your request. Don't worry about it. It's done. i have gone, you're gone. If I'm Prophet Mark Stewart, it's a done deal. You cannot be denied. Come on now. You cannot be turned back. Prophesy. I see you in forehead. Yes, sir. Loose. Prophesy, prophet. Break every Worship with your money now. Worship. Shout Jesus on the mountain. Oh, yes. Jesus in the street. Come on, you don't have to tell me now. Jesus in I'm the I'm prophet. Dark. I'm dangerous. Over Get ready. Every enemy. Yeah. Jesus for my family. I'm seeing I'm another person. Is you alone? You and your daughter. Jesus. But she leave already and you are here. Get ready to go. Oh, yeah. Somebody praise God over here. Jesus in the dark. Why, yeah, yeah, yeah. Why, yeah. Worship. Jesus for my family. I speak the holy name. Jesus. Hold it. Somehow I get the feeling. My prophecy is troubling you. You're not so happy. But watch this. I get it again to tell you. I prophet Mark Stewart is about to take a red underwear from off an altar. I'm about to remove your clothes, your hair, your underwear, and your picture. Jesus. That says you can't move, you can't run away. Oh, glory. That you're locked. It's not, no, you want to pull and can't pull. And now it's as if you're saying, how do I do it? How do I get out of it? Because I feel tapped and tied and threatened. If you leave, you're dead. A prophet will talk to you. And if the prophet says, God says, time to move. No weapon. So stop worrying yourself and make the decision. Has got your back, and this is the season. And if you don't take it this season, it will never happen. Hello, hello. Let me tell you people something. Don't play with this prophet. Jesus. 
Oh, glory. Jesus. I don't come to play, I come to prophesy. And some of you better know that not because I'm not from foreign. I'm the one you see every day. You might doubt and think I'm normal. But it doesn't matter who I carry here. Prophesy. At the end of the day, I am. Prophesy, prophet. And when I say dust, I'm not playing. I'm prophesying. I said, somebody here, your days of hiding is over. You're coming out of the kill. Miracle is on you. Somebody worship. in this church from last night to this morning, even to now there's a pain right at your left breast you're having a severe burning pain at your left breast who is it? Huh? right there 
Huh? Huh? That is right. So he's switching from right to left. Come on, get it right. You know, you know, hey, as God, I, I shall not miss a miracle. Listen. Huh? Every chest pain, every breast pain, I send a signal from your head to your breast. And I command right now, every diabolical pain, beating and bursting and burning your chest, to cease right now. Yesterday, last night, today, that's you. You are the one. Lift your hand. Can I have permission to touch the top of your head? Can I get permission to touch the top of your head? Please. But I don't want to go say, yeah, Pastor, touch me. Once you give me permission, no, you can't say nothing. The Bible says, You shall lay hand on the sick, and they shall recover. And I reverse every cancer. Huh? I have breast cancer. You have breast cancer? Yeah. I have breast cancer. Jesus in the mountain. Jesus in the streets. Jesus in the darkness. Hey, hold it. I heard a blogger say the other day, how can people not say this man is a prophet? She don't tell me, you know, as I lay my hand. And that's why the Bible said, don't be afraid to lay your hand. As I lay my hand, my spiritual machine pick up cancer. Yes, sir. Come on, prophet. The Holy Ghost said, pray against breast cancer. Go deep. Man, do you have faith? believe this prophet. I'm not a joker. I've done it before. I'm a dangerous firepower. Give me that bottle of water. Give me some salt. Lift your faith. Surgical, medical operation. Get some oil. There was a man with stage four cancer in Florida, West Palm Beach. He was a pastor. He lay on his altar praying to God to heal him of cancer. The Lord told him, get up, lock the church and go over where my servant is preaching. It was me. The man came and walked to the back of the church and stand at the back. I was preaching the message, reverse the order. Your sickness shall not end in death. The Lord told me, there's a man just came in, call him and pray for him. And reverse cancer. Didn't know he was a pastor. Prayed for him. The Lord said, use the kerchief. Which one of the breasts? Same one. Go deep. The same one with me lay a hand pan is the same cancer breast. So who sent me on an ultrasound mammogram? Come on, my Who sent me on a machine? Who sent me on a... Come on now. Say, put the kerchief and reverse cancer. One week later, I got a call from the secretary. She said, the man you pray for is a pastor. He went and did checks and there's no more cancer. He was cancer free. Lift your fear. It can be reversed. No matter what the doctor says or whoever says. There is healing in the name of it. Break every... Lift your fear. Yes. 
Yes, sir. I'm not yes, touching sir. breast, I'm touching cancer. Yes, sir. Hard as rock. Come on, prophet. But in the name of Jesus. Oh, glory. Operation Jesus. Oh, yes. Jesus Melt. Try up. Try up. Rub the roof. Reverse. Hey, hey. Diabolic. Woman, lift your feet. Lift your katora. Rub a shadow. Come out. Swing. Yes, sir. Reverse. Break. Loose. Disappear. In the name of Jesus. Lift your family. Woman. I speak the holy name. Jesus. It's about to take your body down. But in the name of Jesus, I reverse. I reverse. Woman, I can't feel your fear yet. I can't feel your fear yet. Lift your fear. I am a child. Jesus for my family. I speak the whole day. Don't give up. Did I say today? Come out of the cave. Your day of hiding is over. Believe. Boy, hold it. Are you saved? You are Christian. You go to church. Sometimes. Church you go. It's not a deliverance church. Are you carrying this? You need to come to church. There's sport more. There's man. You need to recommit your life and covenant with God. Hold it. I hear the law says, in this 24, there's nothing for nothing. You must covenant to serve God for the rest of your life if you want to live from this cancer find yourself back into church and begin huh? surgery two is back they'll keep cutting you'll die only God can save you but you must covenant back with God that if God if you deliver me I will and make up your mind and do it not just because you want healing but because you love God you must serve God. Your life depends on your salvation. And I command, until then, it cannot go further. In Jesus' name. You shall be delivered. Hallelujah. Come on, worship God. Hallelujah. Worship believing. Sing. Yeah. Jesus your name my is. Family. I speak the whole oh, day. Jesus. Come out of hiding. Your day of hiding is over. Out of the cage. Out. Rock out of the cage. Come out. Come out. Come out. Lightning, thunder, earthquake. Out. Break through. Break through. Break through. Break through. Break through.
sickness. Every diabolic Lord Jesus Christ. Jesus for my I pick up your things. Loose. My father, my father. Rakatata pata. Anointing. Receive it. One, two, three. Fire. Fire. Hey. Sing loud. this child cover this child every diabolical attack upon her life blood coverage blood coverage in the name of Jesus blood coverage blood coverage blood coverage don't worry it's in God's hands I don't care don't worry. Anxiety. It's in God's hands. Touch. Declaring there is Don't worry. It is in God's hands. Yes. Oh, I ah. speak Jesus. Why oh. Your name is God. One touch. Release. Somebody worship, come on, girl. Worship God. Cause something the point you're right now. So. If you just worship God, shine through the sing our worship. Worship. Your days of hiding is over. Deliverance. One time. Jesus on the mountain. Jesus in the 
Every Jezebelic threat, kill it and destroy right now. And of God, every soul else can divide the pressure. Come on, girl, come on, lift your hands, lift your feet. Somebody jump up on your feet and sing. Your name is power. Worship. Days of hiding is over. It's time. It's time. Hold it. What I mean? I don't know what fear you're carrying. I don't know what happened to you quite early. I won't dispel. But something troubles you every now and then affects you and it is affecting your future and your decisions trauma every traumatic thing yes sir I see it I ain't saying no. that has come to your life to make you timid scared afraid shut down don't talk much because you've been through it. But today I reverse the order. And I command freedom. Freedom to your mind. How old are you? 33. Uh, let me behave. The spell is broken. Every use abuse. Thirty three. Three three. I'm seeing you sitting by yourself many times. Sad. Broken. Hurt. Look at me. Whatever was done, I see you. You're not in a relationship. You're afraid of man. You're very scared of everything that near man. You're afraid. 
Does a man come too close to you? You get scared. You get scared. Your life is held. Today I break you from the cave of oppression and depression. I break you from the cave. No more hiding. Your life will begin at 33. Lord, open a new way for her. Every setback, everything that the enemy has done to demoralize, to take away her joy,